reflective, shy, outgoing. I am shy in most spaces, but I'm outgoing when I'm in front of a big group. I spent a lot of time working and I put a lot of effort into making sure like my schoolwork and my extracurriculars like turn out the way I want them to. I think I just am an optimistic person. Yeah. <laughs> I like seeing that the glass is half full, not half empty. I love to help people. Um, I like just like volunteering. I like serving people and helping people feel better. So I think caring would be a good adjective for me. Yeah. People might around me might view me as like, oh, this big personality. Um, but like, I wish I was bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also like making everybody my friend. So like, um, I don't care uh, who you are really. Um, if we're, I'm gonna find something that we have in common. I tend to be pretty quiet when, until you like get to know me. But so, like, because I'm a pretty quiet person at the beginning, it like takes a while for me to like get to know everyone. Yeah. I think that a lot of people miss, uh, underestimated how like much work I was willing to put into things and like yeah. how much of a contribution I could actually make. So I hang out a lot with a lot of people from Cutie Pock, uh, which is queer trans people of color, as they tend to be like very inclusive, like they're inclusive of trans people, they're inclusive of gay people, um, they're inclusive of like disabled people, they're very much um, very very reflective in the way that they speak about people. Not saying I don't have white friends, but um, they have to be very um, self-reflective and self-aware of their privilege of historical information. Since um, I'm so into getting things done and really just want to get it finished, mm -hmm. I think that leads to sometimes maybe like comes off as stubbornness maybe because I just want to finish. Sometimes I just have to like prove myself. Yeah. And I, I just think that that's something that I shouldn't need to do. I feel like I'm accepted because there's a lot of white, blonde males on campus. Like, I don't feel like I'm very, like, noticeable, but, like, I, I don't know, I feel like I just kind of fit in with the rest of the other people who are yeah. here. Like, I don't stick out, but I don't, like, I don't know, I'm just kind of <laughs> here. Black people or people of color at a, at a certain point in their lives are going to realize that, yo, like, I'm a person of color and I have all of these issues and things against me. And, whereas white people don't. White people could live their whole lives in a white neighborhood and they'll be fine and they won't get shot by cops or they won't have all of these different issues. Always given the benefit of the doubt, always given the, the chance to be an individual. Whereas us people of color, we're never, we never get the chance to be individual. I cannot just be Robbie. I have to be Robbie all black women act like this or all black women act like that whereas yeah, white people. like white skin and like looking very white i don't like i get it like a lot of privileges because of that but um i still like i very much identify with with egypt and that part of my heritage being having been raised muslim so well i i accept that i am a part of a certain demographic group that is prominent and can be stigmatized into many different sections however um I, I obviously want to be viewed as a human being. My outward appearance um, is obviously going to lead myself into um, making people think what they want to think. As someone who, who teaches about race and thinks about race and talks about it, I think about myself as a white man probably more than the vast majority of white people. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when I, I think about whiteness a lot. <laughs> I think it's like pretty inclusive. I do. Like I have a lot of friends who go to other schools and their like student population is like all the same type of people. Yeah. And, like all the same social class and like backgrounds and like not that they're not inclusive, but you just like are there and you're like, if I'm not one of you, like it's kinda weird. So um, all you do is you have these little pods, you know, of people who sort of aren't really getting outside their boxes. We leave it up to individuals, they'll tend to sink to the things that are most comfortable to them. Most Our school is not that diverse compared to a lot of other schools. It's a mixed bag. I very much feel like our school has some judgment in it, as much as we do try to be inclusive. For example, the LGBTQ community, I feel like at this campus, they are sometimes accepted and sometimes not. So a lot of people are very uncomfortable with that and it's sad because we need to include 
everybody, not just include, but like really make an effort to be friends with everybody. I feel like if you have people who are willing to talk and listen, you have like so many good conversations that like that's kind of what makes you friends and like keeps you together. Um, all of us have to work on um, decolonizing ourselves and our minds and um, try to actively become better people. So that's one thing I think Ohio State can do. Because I feel like if a lot of people knew different things, um, they're more inclined to become more empathetic and they're more inclined to actually do things um, and, and like do great things in the world and stuff. If you move around, what, what you want to do, and if I were king of the world, right, if I were really, you know, the, the god of the university what i want is for students not just in their first year as roommates but rather i want all through their college careers to be having to come up against or push up against and befriend in some ways people who are just radically different from, from who they are because in the end people click on the basis of personalities mm -hmm. as much as they click on the basis of sociological factors and forces if you get together with this person who's really different from you if you connect with them, then all sorts of really cool things can happen. Mm -hmm.